Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is game user settings? The revert video mode node. So let me go ahead and show you this node. And right now it is broken, and it's broken on purpose. And it's because I need to show you exactly what it's meant to do and how we would use it properly. So the revert video mode node is very simple. It's basically the last of a set of nodes for the confirming. What I mean by that is we have the confirm video mode node. This basically takes our current resolution and saves it out as the last good, last confirmed video modes. Then we have the getters, which allow us to get these values and do something with it. And then we have the revert video mode node, which basically takes these values and does the opposite of the confirm, and it shoves it back into our game user settings as the current resolution. Now keep in mind, this, this node and all the other ones work on the game user settings object itself. Unless you run a save or apply, it doesn't actually write it out to disk. And that's important to note. So if I was to run this, we're going to see 1024. And we're going to see 1024 by 768, which is the resolution I told to run it. However, if we were to do something like 1920 by 1080 and hit accept, close this out, and hit play again, well, we're going to see 1024 and 1920. And we're going to see 1920 here. And I could run this every single time. And then now we're going to see 1024, 1024. And we're just going to see some things acting weirdly. And the reason for that is what is actually written out to disk is only when I tell it to. So if we were to look at our actual file here, we're going to see 1920 by 1080, and we're going to see 1024 by 768. But when we run this before and after the revert video mode, it's telling me 1024 and 1024. Well, keep in mind, this is an error because we are getting the current object, which is in memory. We are then reverting the video mode, which is saying, okay, object in memory, go ahead and set your values to 1024. And then we're getting it again and printing it out. Now, because this object, let's move this back, persists in memory when we're doing the plain editor, the next time we run the get game user settings, it's not loading it off of disk. So we're not getting this value. We're getting the value in memory and it's going to be 1024 by 768, which is what I'm setting it to. So it's why when we run it, the memory version has 1024, 1024. If I was to save this out, go back to my project, load up my project again. This time, it, the first time it loads the Git Game User Settings node, it of course is going to pull it from disk. Because it pulls it from disk the first time, we're going to get back our 1920 and 1024 values. But of course, every time we run it after that, we're going to get 1024 and 1024. So the point of all that is keep in mind your flow when you are working. Any of the nodes that write to the game user object only write when you tell it to. So in order for us to actually save this out, I would have to grab this. Let's go apply settings and let's go ahead and run an apply settings node. This is going to go ahead and apply our changed value and write it out to disk. So we'll hit play. The screen you notice will look really funky because I have it in 1024 by 768 now. And if we were to go into our settings file, remember this is what we had before. I close it. Let's go ahead and open up the current version of it. And we'll find it actually has it saved out properly at 1024 by 768 for the usable and last user confirmed. And when we run it, of course, it's going to be at that funky resolution if I was running it in the proper version. You'd have to run it in standalone, which is a giant pain in the butt. But when you're working with Plain Editor, this is one of those things you have to worry about. See? So it works fine for testing. So that's a lot of so's. But keep in mind, when you're using the revert video mode node, it only writes it to the object. It does not save it off to disk until you tell it to save out. It's simply going to change the current resolution settings inside the object to whatever your last confirmed settings were. 